decades. Yeah. And we were getting wind gusts up there in Mounted Meadows at the top of one of the chairs um, up to about 65 miles per hour. So we've been consistently getting these really strong winds up there. Big temperature fluctuations, too. Yeah, we've had snow. We've had yeah. rain. Yeah. I mean, it's been a mess. And the rain on the top of the snow is something we don't want to see, and we're mm -hmm. probably going to see that as we get to the next couple of days. So we're going to talk about that. In the meantime, uh, just giving you kind of a, a recap of what we're expecting up there. So Mount Hood backcountry, this does not include those groomed runs at ski resorts, and it does not include the highway. Um, but the avalanche danger is for the backcountry Mount Hood. That warning still in place until at least 6 o'clock tonight. The risk is considered high above, near, and below the tree line. How about that ski report, though? We have a lot of new snow. We got cold enough to see snow fall right around uh, 4,000 feet from earlier today, even a little bit lower than that briefly. Uh, we have a base now of 121 inches at Timberline. Mount Hood Meadows, 102 inches. And remember, about a week and a half ago, we were right here at this base, but we lost some of that because of those warmer temperatures. Now we're adding on to it, but we're going to warm up again as we get to tomorrow, especially Thursday and Friday. Mount Bachelor, you have a base of about 80 inches. Snow levels, so here's what we're talking about. It warms up and so do the snow levels. We're going to climb up to almost 7,000 feet by the time we get to tomorrow. So the possibility of seeing anywhere from 6 to 10 inches of snow, that really only exists for uh, mid-mountain, uh, you know, our ski resorts above the base. Uh, we get to Thursday and Friday, pretty close to hitting that 8,000 foot mark. As we get to Saturday, then we start to cool things down. By Sunday, we're going to have snow levels as low as almost about 2,000, 2,500 feet. So let's take a look again at how much snow we're expecting just in the next two days. Not expecting much for Thursday, but it'll be uh, tomorrow. Again, right around that 6,000 foot mark, anywhere from about 6 to 12 inches possible, but down below 5,000 feet, maybe an inch at best. Let's take a look at that snowpack so far. So where are we in terms of our snowpack? Because we've certainly seen quite a bit of snow. We are about 90% of normal for Hood, Sandy, and Lower Deschutes and also looking at about 90% of normal for the western slopes of the Cascades as well. Now, as we take a look at our conditions here in Portland, yeah, on the mostly cloudy side, but for the most part, getting a break from the rain, 51, uh, your sunset time, well, we've already passed that. Some of you might actually have had a decent sunset. If you did, be sure to send us some pictures. Now, as we take a look at your temperatures at the coast, we're in the upper 40s to mid 40s, 47 for you, the Dalles, and 49 degrees, Salem. For tomorrow, we're back to the low 50s. More rain on the way for a good chunk of the day. Let's time it out for you. Tonight is really your break before we get the next round of rain coming through. This is tomorrow morning, 5 o'clock in the morning. It's all about rain the entire day until we get to about 5 30, 6 o'clock. There's your brief break. Again, only for some areas, not widespread. And then we get back to the rain for you tomorrow late at night. And Thursday is going to be an interesting day because. If you're spending any time in western Washington, you're heading up to Seattle, let's say on Thursday, that's going to be quite the soggy day up north. But for us, we're probably going to stay out of it for the most part. But look at that. Friday is high, 59. Jeez. Okay, well, we'll look forward to Friday then. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Natasha. <laughs>